Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, we're gonna to show you how easy it is to assemble this 38-inch bench seat. This is a classic bench seat from Deckmate at pontoonstuff.com. Before we get to assembling that seat, we're gonna talk about the parts and pieces that come with it. So we have a seat back, a seat base, or bottom cushion, and then our plastic seat base that everything's gonna sit on top of. Hardware-wise, you're gonna get on the bottom of your uh, seat bottom, you're gonna, or bottom cushion, you're gonna get a packet with four sets of a threaded bolt, threaded rod, a flat washer, a lock washer, and a wing nut. You'll get four sets of those. That's how we're gonna attach the seat back onto the seat base. You'll also get four short, three quarter inch or half inch, number three Phillips head uh, machine screws that are gonna hold the hinges of the seat bottom to the seat base. The last thing in the seat base, you're gonna get four big heavy screws, stainless screws, that are gonna use to actually secure one in each corner of the seat base to the deck once you get it where you want it. To start with our seat back, I've threaded in a few of these threaded rods or threaded bolts. I'm gonna put this into the threaded hole. It's gonna receive this bolt. I'm going to put it in about halfway down. I need enough room to get my flat washer, lock washer, and wing nut on. So I'm going to take this to my seat base. And there's slotted holes on my seat base. So each bolt is going to go in here. This gives me some room to move the cushion a little bit if I need to. I like to center it. And then I'm going to take flat washer onto the bolt, a lock washer against the flat washer, and then I'll finish it with a wing nut. The easiest, way, the easiest way I found to do this, because it's kind of blind, is to hold my flat washer with my lock washer underneath. Then with my middle finger, I'm going to hold that wing nut. So now I can reach underneath, find my bolt, press my washers on, and then thread on my wing nut. Tighten it down hand tight. And then we'll continue that for all four of those posts. When assembling this into the boat, you're gonna secure your seat next to the bench seats, the corner seats, the lean back seats, whatever's next to it, an armrest too. The last thing I do is I attach the seat bottom, to so the bottom cushion. I'm going to take it with the hinges down, line up my holes, and then those four short machine screws are going to thread in. And again, there's some adjustability here with the hinges, being that they have an oblong hole. But the threads are built into the seat base itself. I'm going to put all four in. I'm going to line up my cushion. Then I'll go back with a screwdriver and hand tighten everything nice and snug. When we're complete, we've got a great comfortable seat. We'll put it against the railing, make sure everything's secure. We can put the under LED lights on it. Speakers are easy to put into these seat bases. We get lots of storage underneath. It's a great seat, affordable price, it's gonna last you a long time.